My name is Tara. Hi, my name is Abby. This is our equestrian show. Today we're going to be showing you Parts Attack and a quick exclusive of the Equestrian TV, the Equestrian Extravaganza on Equestrian News. I'll I be showing you parts of, ta of bridle and a halter. I will be showing you the saddle and the covers. Okay, we will only be showing English gear and Pirellis. Okay, and we'll also give you an exclusive view of the equestrian extravaganza. I'm here going to be showing you part of tap. Okay, here is the nose band of the, brow ba uh, of the bridle, sorry. This here is called a bit, and it should go between these, which is where you steer your horse and all that. And this here is a neat little brow band here. Um, and it should go across here. This one's only a basic one, and this one is for shows and all that. This here is called the reins, and this will only be showed for steering your horse as well. So it's connected to the bit. And this here, um, this here, this head collar thing on the horse is called a halter. Um, this is to control your horse when you're not riding. And this here is connected to lead your horse. I'm going to be showing you the saddle first. Okay, now see this here? This area here? That is the flap. This area is the knee block. This is the gallet. This is the seat where you sit. This is the knee roll. This is the point of the tree. This is the front block, which is where your leg rests. This is the buckle guard, which is where the straps go. This is the girth strap, which is what your girth, which is the thing that goes under your horse goes. And this is the buckle. And this is the stirrup leather keeper. So where you've got your stirrup leather, um, that's where the keeper, and this is your panel. Okay, so now we're just going to walk over here. Now, so this is an English saddle. Now I'm going to show you the covers. Okay, so this cover here is a summer cover. The summer cover is lighter and can absorb sun but not to get the horse get too cold. This is a winter cover. It gives the horse heat and warmth so that they'll get nice and cosy in the winter. Okay, so yeah. We are going to be giving you an exclusive information on the equestrian extravaganza. It'll be in midterm two. Okay, first of all, we're going to show you some information and some things we're going to be doing at the Equestrian Extravagant. And when, who, where, and how. I'll be explaining um, where, uh, what we're going to do and some bits where we're going to do it. Yeah, and I'll also be explaining some of what we're go I'm going to do and what we're both going to do and where and how and Okay. It'll be in Opake, the paddock just there, and um, in the Acres paddock. In the Acres paddock, and I will be doing some barrel racing and some little jumping, some do's and don'ts, and a few more exciting things. Okay, now some of the things are going to be kept as a surprise, but we're going to do some bareback things, we're going to show you how to approach a horse, we're going to show you how to keep a horse calm, we're going to describe parts of the horse's body to you and a few more other things. Now, on the board we're going to show you roughly where he will be seated. So, we've got your paddock. Now the paddock... It's just a rough idea. Looks like that roughly and there's about a gate about here, right? So the gate there and there's also another gate here that goes into another paddock. But you don't need to know that gate. Okay, so you'll be seated around this area. Yep. So you'll be seated around here. So yeah, okay. That's where you'll be sitting. And we will have this whole paddock here full of three horses. Just a and there'll be right pressure. Then there'll be jumps. The jumps kind of along here. Yeah. And so also for the bear, for the bow racing, we're just gonna set up three barrels there and we'll just go whoop, whoop, whoop. You're doing it the wrong way. Whoop, like that. If you're doing it the wrong way, but um and I will
will be using Jack, my older pony. Um, just for the some games, as my pony is not used for games. She is used for calm little things like jumping. And I'll be showing you some don'ts on him and some do's on my actual pony, Misty. And I'll be riding Indiana Miss, my pony. And I'll be doing jumping. And I won't be doing games because my pony isn't the games pony. Okay, so I hope you learned a little bit more about the equestrian extravaganza. After this break, we'll be back and we will be telling you more information. See you after the break. Okay, we're back and we're going to be telling you a bit more about the equestrian extravaganza. Now also for the extravaganza, we'll be doing grooming and if you want a surprise, Tyra is going to tell you about the tickets. You can get the tickets from me and Abby and they are only a dollar each. So come to us during morning tea and lunchtime. Okay, all right, we're going to tell you a bit more about how to approach a horse and things like that next up. Hi, welcome back to Christian News. I'm going to talk to you about animal cruelty and how it is not okay. An example for animal cruelty is when you smack a horse very hard on the head or very hardly smack them on any part of their body. Another example for animal cruelty would be if you leave them in a paddock or a stable without any food, grass or water. If you see anyone doing this to a horse or any other animal, call the SPCA. Tyra is now going to be explaining to you some of the different parts of horsemanship. To you about horsemanship and a person who is really awesome. Okay, I'll be talking to you about horsemanship. Horse horsemanship is about teaching your horse manners and to desensitise. Desensitise means so that your horse becomes bomb-proof around anything. And here is one of the examples I'd like to show. Jacob, who has helped me to train my pony, which she was unbroken before. He has helped me along the ways and taught my pony many, many manners before I managed to ride her. He's just really awesome. Bye. Hi, welcome back to Christian News. No, no, I'm going to be showing you. No, no, no.